Okay guys, let's talk about hyphen notation. Now in looking at these, I've written out the hyphen notation. In the first one, I just wrote it out, it's helium-4, and it's just a symbol of helium and then 4. And we see here I've written out oxygen-16, and then lastly I have chlorine-36. Now it really doesn't matter which way that you write it, meaning you can write the symbol and then the number or the name and the number, but either way it means the same thing. What we need to know about it is that the symbol or the name represents what element we have. Okay? And then the number is going to be our mass number. Okay? The, remember the mass number is the number of protons plus neutrons. Okay? Now from the hyphen notation, what we have to be able to do is we have to be able to calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Okay? So for helium, I have to figure out first the number of protons. So I look on the periodic table and I look at the atomic number. It's the number that's on top. And I see that helium has a 2. So it has atomic number of two. So I know that protons are going to be two. Okay? To find my neutrons, if I subtract the number of protons from my mass number, I get just the neutrons. So if I go four minus two, because that's how many protons I have, I see that I get a, my number of neutrons of two. And then lastly, my electrons. And my electrons, my protons equal my electrons in a neutral atom. Okay, so I don't see that it has a charge to it, so I know that it's neutral, so I put a 2 for that as well. Okay, we can do the same thing for oxygen. The name's written out here, but it's still the same process. We look on the periodic table and we see that the atomic number for oxygen is going to be 8. Okay, that means that the number of neutrons, 16 minus 8, will give me a total of 8. And lastly, we see that my electrons, it's neutral, so therefore my electrons equal my protons. Okay, my very last one, I have chlorine. It has an atomic number of 17. Okay, my neutrons are going to be 36 minus 17, which gives me a total of 19. And then lastly, for my electrons, since it's neutral, protons equal electrons.